on the IFL TV in association with MTK Global. I'm at the O2 today for the Hay versus Bellew final press conference. With me, I've got the main man OD O'Hara Davis. How are yep. you? I'm good, thanks. Um, how you How you doing? I'm great, thank you. Um, a bit quieter at the press conference today. Didn't yeah, didn't, you know, every day it's all about going by how you feel. You know, it's on the Monday fight week, it's like yes, all the sparring's done. The sparring's done. I'm excited. You know, I wake up wake up on the Monday. I ain't got a spar today. Like you're excited. So when I go to the press conference and all the fans are there and they're giving me ex more excitement, I'm like feeding off of it. But today, you know, it's the uh, uh, first day, I'm just more chilled out, just more, just want to get the day through and just... I think in uh, yesterday's interview with Coogan, you seemed a little bit... You see, people see a different side of you. Yeah. You, you did jump on the, the racism bandwagon yeah, yeah, yeah. that a few other people yeah. did and yeah. you, you spoke your point and you explained yeah. yourself a bit more and yeah. I think you got a bit more love for that. I did. And today I was looking <laughs> on, my t on my Twitter and I'm like, wow, people are actually saying good things about me. <laughs> I was shocked. I was like, but yeah, I didn't, I didn't experience any racism since I've been in boxing. I've never, exp I've never experienced it. All it comes down to, if you can fight, you can fight. You can fight, you'll get on a big stage. That's, yeah. that's all it's about. Um, I think Derry tried to maybe get a little bit of a bite out of you today by saying you'd, you'd fought no one, mm. which is why you've won every round of your career, but yeah. you, didn't, you didn't bite on it. Yeah, no, he just really... I, I don't hate I don't, I don't hate him. I'm sure he doesn't hate me. If he does, then he's a fool. But I don't hate him. It's just business. You've got to sell, you've got to sell fights. You've got to talk a bit. You've got to bring, a, you've got to bring, ex, you've got to bring excitement. That's what the fans, that's what they want to see. Imagine during this whole fight, I was like, yeah, me and Dave Matthews are good mates and blah, blah, blah. The fight won't sell. People wouldn't, wouldn't be looking to watch this fight. As many people are, are going are, are, are gonna to be in the O2 for, for that fight alone. The you know, O2 is going to be packed. Also, because of because of the way it's been because of the way it's been hyped up. So what we've done is just sold a lot a lot more tickets, got a few more buys on pay per view, and just made the show a bigger a bigger show. And that's what it's about. It's just yes. business. Like, but it's just it's just that in the business that in the game that we're in, you and you and you and another man having an argument is what sells. I'm sure if Derry works in the office and I worked in the office, we'd be going every morning and saying hello to each other. I'd be making him a cup of tea or a cup of coffee or whatever. It's just that we're pro boxers we're f and we fight. So to sell the show, we got to, we, you know, we just got to start a bit of trouble. Exactly. I don't hate, I don't, I don't hate um, anyone. I know you're a man that loves his food when you're yeah, yeah. at a camp, 24 hours away from the weigh-in. Yeah. I mean, uh, how, how are you feeling? I feel good. For this fight, I've actually, even though I'm looking physically bigger than I did in my other fights, and I remember I just started camp, I was thinking, oh, like, weight's going to be quite hard to make. I've actually made weight easy for this fight. I'm not bang on weight now, but I'm not, I'm not training today. By tomorrow morning, I'll be, I'll be naturally be on weight. I'm still eating food. I haven't had to put on a sweatsuit, not once have I put on a sweatsuit during this camp. So I'm in the best shape. I'm literally in the best shape, and I'm surprised how how easy my weight's gone down. Like I look in the mirror and I'm like, I still got a bit of fat fat on me that can still kind of come off. But when I jump on the scales, the scales are like so light, and I'm just um glad that um, I'm not starving for this camp. All right, then, mate. Well, listen, I know you got a crack on and get on with your life, but I'm sure I'll catch up with you tomorrow. But until then, Ahodi, thank you for coming to IFL TV, and I'll catch up with you soon. Thank you, top man. Cheers. Cheers,